many families are adopting kids from, say, Russia or Eastern Europe and whatnot, and they're finding a lot of problems with the children. Well, this is a phenomenon I started noticing in the 80s and 90s. You know, when the, when the Iron Curtain came down and we started having uh, more normalized relationships with the Eastern European countries, including Russia, there became this uh, rush to uh, availability of adopted children. Little by little, and I have a practice that I specialize in children with behavioral issues, I would find such a disproportionate number of kids, number one, who were adopted, but specifically from Eastern Europe. And other, and other foreign countries as well. And it's, there was a pioneer in this field back in World War II, Rene Spitz, who was a medical doctor, and he observed how when children are raised in orphanages or during the war in World War II, um, the parents were on, they'd lost their parents, that there's something called, he, call, he called it institutionalized neglect. And that unless there's a very proactive program in any orphanage or such, and especially in these poor countries, they don't have the funds for it, these kids are basically just maintained. They're not given a lot of a contact, they're not given a lot of stimulation, and the, um, the rates that we're seeing now of a lot of the kids who come from these countries that were adopted, high rates of mood disorder, attention deficit disorder, behavior problems, but even maybe more, more upsetting is they really seems that if you miss stimulation in that early period, Years and years later, the brain is still not cognitively ca living up to what it's capable of. So if you're going to adopt a kid from one of those countries, you don't want the kid that was in a lonely, isolated atmosphere, because you might get a problem you don't want. Well, absolutely so. And in fact, what I found with some of the kids for, again, from who suffer what I again call this institutionalized neglect, they, they really, because they don't have this bond, as you say, the initial bond, their ability to bond with a person is very fleeting. So they develop symptoms that are now called, let's say, excessive friendliness. So in other words, one moment they could be not only friendly toward the parent, but they, they'll be friendly to strangers, inappropriately so. The next moment they suddenly withdraw the, uh, it seems like it, it fluctuates. So one moment they're loving and kind, the next minute they have no relationship with you. So a lot of these kids get labeled re, um, attachment disorder or reactive attachment disorder, meaning they're having trouble attaching to the new parent, to the adoptive parent, because of the lack of bonding when they were, say, under the, year, under the age of a year old.